Which of the following best describes the function of the second sentence, a dream dot 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 essayist, in the context of the passage as a whole? So by the second sentence, she also means the first sentence of the second paragraph. And this is where she says, a dream offers a rich read, varied in both the lives and texts of the women portrayed. And this parallels what she says in the very opening, or the, in the opening sentence, or the very first sentence, where she says that I enjoyed reading women's biographies because they showed me how women related the details of their lives. And then we look here at line five and it says, oh, a dream does just that. And so for this woman, a dream is successful on the level of what she found to be successful again as a child. And so that's why it matches up best with answer choice B, which is to elaborate or talk more about how a dream fulfills the author's childhood criteria for a pleasurable book. And so that's our answer. Now, you may be tempted in choosing a few other answers that are more negative in tone, but you want to note as well that there is that word yet. And that word yet pops up there in line six. It comes right after this first sentence of the second paragraph. And this yet shows a contrast to, oh, a dream is positive, but yet it's not completely positive because now I'm an adult and I basically have more rigid, sophisticated criteria for determining on whether or not a biography is successful. And so that's different though than focusing on this just this opening sentence of the second paragraph so we don't want to choose oh hey to give examples of how a dream presents fascinating portraits that display awareness of the tenuous nature of representations of reality because that's answer choice a and you're taking parts that come after the yet those parts are in contrast you can't put those parts where it talks about the tenuous nature of reality and then link it together with how a dream is successful it presents fascinating portraits because those are two contradictory ideas that it's both positive and negative. You can't put that together. And then C, to suggest that the author enjoyed a dreams for reasons more sophisticated than the reasons she enjoyed certain books as a child. Again, that comes after the yet. So C is not correct either. And then you can even look at D, same, same thing. To illustrate ways in which the author finds a dream to be inadequate to certain critical senses, that's great. That's the answer to another question, though. That's an answer to the question, what is it saying from lines six till the end? But we're only dealing with lines five and six, that opening sentence of the second paragraph. And so the answer is B.